In this presentation, we will discuss a situation where bonds are issued in order to finance a capital project. In other words, we have a capital project, long-term project, we're gonna make a bridge, we're gonna make a building, we need to finance it in some way, we need money, therefore we are gonna issue bonds. So we're gonna issue bonds in order to finance the capital project. As we consider this, there's typically three areas we wanna keep in mind. We've got the government-wide activities, that's gonna be the entity as a whole on more of an accrual basis or on an accrual basis, one that's gonna be more familiar to us so when we issue the bonds we can think about it from the government wide level recording it as we would expect the issuance of bonds to be recorded you also want to keep in mind the other types of fund side of things that will be affected so if we're issuing bonds to finance a capital project like building a bridge building a building then we might have a capital project fund that could be affected we also could have a debt service fund that could be affected. So on the fund side of things, we're typically thinking of governmental type funds. The governmental type funds that are often involved when we have the issuance of bonds are the capital project fund, because that might be what we're issuing the bonds in order to fund, as well as the debt service fund, because that's gonna be used in order to service the debt of the bonds. Those are gonna be governmental type funds and note that they're gonna be on a modified accrual basis, therefore, as opposed to the government wide activity, which will be on the normal accrual basis. Keeping that in mind, note that when a government issues bonds, they could be issued at a premium or a discount, just like any type of bonds. When you consider the recording of bonds at a for-profit type of organization, we might issue them at a premium or we might sell them at a discount. If we sell them at a premium, what that means is we have the face amount of the bonds and we got more money than the face amount of the bonds and therefore we record the premium typically in terms of accrual accounting if we're talking about a discount then we sold the bonds for less money than the face amount of the bonds and therefore we have to record a discount at the point of the sale of the bonds when we're considering the issuance of the bonds for the government wide level the entity as a whole on an accrual basis you can think of it in, in much the same way the recording will be similar to what you would think of in a for-profit type of organization actually recording the receipt of the cash and the payable in terms of the bond payable as well as the premium or uh, the discount. When we think of the fund accounting, however, modified accrual, it will differ. We will not be recording the activity in terms of the liability or in terms of the premium or discount because the modified accrual basis doesn't show long-term liabilities uh, or long-term assets and therefore it's not gonna have the payable on the books in terms of the modified accrual that including the capital project fund or the debt service fund. If the bond is sold between interest payment dates, purchaser also paid accrued interest. The bond liability is recorded at the government wide level. So when we consider the bond liability recording the bond, we're gonna debit cash, we're gonna credit the bond payable. The bond payable will record it on the government wide level. It's gonna be a long-term liability. However, it won't be recorded on the fund level. The proceeds, however, are gonna be recorded in the capital project fund. So when you think about this, I would think about the government wide level. And this will make more sense once we do examples of this. But you want to think about the government wide level. We're going to debit the cash. We're going to credit the bond payable. And then we'll have an interest or a premium. If we have a premium, we would credit the premium. Then we want to think about the fund side of things. What's going to happen on the fund side of things? Well, if we did this in order to finance a capital project, we're typically going to take the proceeds, which would be equivalent to the face amount of the bond, and that's what's going to be recorded in terms of the capital project fund. So we'll typically increase cash and then the other side not go into a liability because it's going to be a modified accrual basis, but going to other financing sources, which is going to be similar to like an income statement account, a flow type of account, which will be a little bit unusual for us because that's going to be different than what we would do under, under a normal accrual accounting and the only way to really understand it is look at example problems as we will do shortly and then we have the principal and interest payments are made from the debt service fund or the general fund so typically then we would think about the debt service fund as the account out of which the principal and interest payments are going to be made and oftentimes the way we're going to set this up you can imagine if we were to sell the bond at a premium we put the bond on the books in terms of the government-wide activity debiting cash crediting bonds payable crediting the premium, we're gonna to transfer to the capital project fund, the face amount of the bond, and then the premium, which is basically representing interest, may go to the debt service fund because it's gonna be used to finance the interest, the debt part of, of the payment. So the principal 
and interest payments then are going to be coming out of the debt service fund tracking the principal and interest. Note, however, that the debt service fund also is on a modified accrual basis. Therefore, we're not going to put the bond liability in the debt service fund. We're not going to record a liability for bonds payable in the debt service fund. It's going to be in the government-wide activities. We will be recording the principal and interest payments out of the debt service fund. Again, this will make more sense, this interplay between the funds government-wide activities, how this will play out, modified accrual, and the accrual basis as we look at examples.